Okay, as you recall, in the first uh, of the um, of these this part of this video, we we covered uh, the uh, analysis of a maritime SAR. We did two. Uh, we were looking at actually three constraints. We were looking at mission price, mission time, and whether or not we picked up vic victims. Uh, and uh, we were able to do that uh, with. Uh, our, uh, our our structure and um, let me come back over here uh, and so we see that that we were able to to either search with a helicopter and then return the coast or search with a boat and return the coast okay so now what we're going to want to do is uh, we want to do this in a Monte Carlo type of way and and actually Monte Carlo the whole system of systems and so we'll move over to our Monte Carlo analysis. And uh, so we have an executable model, which is our maritime SAR. Uh, so what we did was we created a, a, a brand new uh, SAR model. Here's my uh, analysis. Uh, and, and there's the, uh, uh, the Monte Carlo analysis. Uh, and it's just a block. Uh, and you can see that there is a... Uh, uh, a composition, directed composition down to Maritime SAR. Uh, if I look at Maritime SAR, there's that same connectivity. So we're still talking about the same model. Uh, but we also, we reach out to the No Magic uh, Cameo Simulation Toolkit and we pick up this pattern which is called Monte Carlo Analysis. And if I was looking for that, I would say find uh, and I do Monte Carlo and you know uh, again I want to include elements from standard system profiles and it's going to look for it and so uh, we can the the block I believe yeah if I select them in containment tree it'll say it's it's hidden uh, but you can see that 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 pattern is 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 here under uh, the uh, SysML customizations and so we just pull that out onto the uh, onto the diagram uh, like so uh, and uh, if I already have one. Uh, and then I use a generalization uh, from Monte Carlo analysis to the SAR analysis. Okay, then the next thing I need to do uh, is I want to make a state machine. And in the state machine, I have two, uh, two states. Uh, I have a ready state uh, and I have a run state. And we're not going to use a signal in this case because I want it to go straight from ready to run. Yeah, but we have a do. We also we have a, a uh, uh, an activity uh, diagram where we actually look at this. And so um, so what we want to do is we want to actually send the emergency signal. Well, let's go back and review where that came from. All right. So I've got this uh, behavior. Here's my system states, uh, and I have um, this distressed ship state. Uh, and if we look here, you can see that I'm sending uh, the signal uh, emergency. Okay, so there's that emergency signal uh, that I'm sending to kick this thing off. All right. Uh, so, uh, but in order to to tell Magic Draw where that thing is, I'm going to move over uh, to uh, structures. And what I want to do is uh, look at the structure of my my SAR model. So I come into Analysis, I can come to Monte Carlo Analysis, I can look at SAR Monte Carlo Analysis, and you can begin to see some of the structure. So here's my uh, Maritime SAR, uh, and uh, so what we, what we would do is, let me pull this over just a little bit. All right. So in this case, we're going to use something called read structural feature. All right, now this is just system L. So you come up to action, go down any action, 
and we're looking for read structural feature action. I just put them down there. All right, and uh, the uh, according to no magic, the uh, the object uh, is not needed uh, to start this. Now the val validation suite will will say it is, but uh, you just ignore the, the the validation. So you can actually delete this. I'm going to control D. It's gone. All right, and so what we did is we take this maritime SAR, uh, and we can see uh, here's my part. And what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to just kind of drop it on there. And that's the Maritime SAR. Uh, so it reads the Maritime SAR. Now, again, remember I'm in structures. I'm not over here in content diagram because I don't want to uh, be guessing which one of these things uh, needs to go because I want to be able to pull the information from the ship. Uh, and so come back over to the structures. Uh, if I were to make another uh, one of these... Uh, Again, uh, any action, and I'll get a uh, uh, a read uh, structural feature. Uh, and now you come up, and because it's the ship that's going to have the information, uh, uh, we we pull the ship over here, uh, and that's how we come up with these two. All right, I'm going to delete those. Okay, so those leave, uh, uh, let's see, select container tree. All right, now notice there's no names on some of these things, uh, but these are, uh, if I look at the specification, you can see that um, uh, the structural features that it's reading is maritime SAR, and then the structural feature that uh, this uh, object is, this action is is going to be reading is from the ship. And then we pull down the result and we uh, have a target uh, uh, to emergency. So this is going to send the emergency signal uh, into my SAR analysis. Of course, I have a start and I have a stop. So there's the Monte Carlo. There is the state. Uh, and uh, then the other thing I have to do is I'm looking for uh, the money evaluation. I want that particular screen constraint. And so in the in the block definition diagram, I I went to uh, Monte Carlo analysis and I said create diagram and I said to create parametric diagram. Uh, and then I was able to pull. The, uh, here's my parametric diagram. And I was able to pull the constraint. Remember, it was over here in requirements, right? Uh, where's my requirements? I was able to pull that constraint, the money evaluation, over. Uh, and then uh, I was able to uh, to, to take the value of the, the, the mean all right, uh, going back here. So there's my mean uh, from the Monte Carlo and then the maritime SAR. So I bound the maritime SAR to the mean and then the constraint is that the money needs to be less than $5,000. Okay, so we set all that up uh, and, uh, and now you go to the uh, simulation configuration for Monte Carlo. So here it is. Okay, in this case, uh, I, uh, my execution target is my SAR Monte Carlo analysis. And so you can see Monte Carlo analysis uh, here. This is my object that's going to be simulated. Uh, and, uh, but I've also made a histogram. So I pulled histogram over here. And the value was the maritime SAR price. Uh, it was also representing this SAR Monte Carlo analysis. Then you drag the histogram over on top of this and it becomes the UI. And so you now see the UI and you see the step size. And let's say in this case, I'm going to do a number of runs 200. Uh, in the configuration analysis, uh, when I look at the specification and look at the timing, all right, you can see that I've got a step size. Uh, 
and I've got a time unit and I've got the uh, start time end time I'm still doing random okay so I'm going to do a random pull on all my my durations and because I have some of these values in here if I eliminated this one this one uh, and this one uh, it would go a little bit faster, but I want to just kind of show you how this works. All right, so so it's random. Sim time is there, uh, and so we're ready to roll. So it's called SAR Monte Carlo analysis, and so we come in here and we run it. And so now you see my my histogram uh, begins to uh, it's going through the 200 runs. Uh, but it's uh, each one of the runs. It's it's bringing in this particular case. We're just looking at the uh, the maritime SAR mission price, uh, and so each time it runs through my model, uh, you're seeing uh, the result uh, plotted on the histogram. So here I have uh, two different ways to look at Monte Carlo. One was uh, doing a Monte Carlo, excuse me, or or, or to, to do a parametric. In, in one case, I was trying to uh, parameterize uh, what the answer was on how much did it cost uh, and was it within the, co the cost constraint. The second was how much time does it take and was it within the time constraint. And now I'm running a Monte Carlo uh, and I'm plotting in real time. I could also plot this out to an Excel spreadsheet, but you can see it's just kind of go. And you can see that 10% uh, of my instances are over five thousand dollars and so and you begin to also see a, a bimodal distribution uh, in this because uh, the helicopter is more pricey uh, and so every time you do a helicopter uh, that element goes up and then then the uh, uh, the, uh, the, the the boat is a lot less pricey and and so you can see that there are instances when that occurs uh, and so here we have a DODAF uh, and SysML uh, operating together using DODAF described artifacts with some adjustments. We, we, we had to do the, uh, uh, the, the, the opaque uh, objects in order to get some of our, our, our elements in there. Uh, but we can, we can run this. Uh, and uh, we've got the label uh, price, the x-axis, y-axis. Uh, and we also said keep open after termination is true. Um, so uh, again, uh, there are many folks that say we have to have SysML to do this analysis, uh, but the truth is you can do this analysis uh, even using uh, your DODAF described artifacts. Uh, this model will be available uh, for folks that, uh, that are interested, uh, so you can try it out for yourself. Uh, again, it's UPDM uh, and it's uh, is DODAF. Uh, excuse me, it's 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 Magic Draw uh, 190 uh, Service Pack 3.